<laughs> Skating backwards is a true joy, and it's way easier than you might think. Follow along in this video as I take you from your first time skating backwards all the way through to the skills you need to be able to skate around outside on the street. Make sure you're comfortable with your lemon drops. This is a building block for so many of our moves, just as important for our backwards skating. Lemon drop is simply feet in a V, good balance, head up, carving the shape of a lemon over top of my cone. Forward and back. Lemon drops are so important, but I've covered these many times before in previous videos. So if this is nothing new to you, please feel free to skip ahead. Look in the description box, look in the comments. You'll see a timeline. Skip ahead to what's most appropriate for your skill level. If you are new to skating or new to skating backwards, spend some time here. I promise it will help. As we start to get moving backwards, that lemon drop is gonna be our first break. So it's gonna be very important before we move on. Next thing let's do is let's get used to our backward skating stride. Balance, balancing our body. A, positioning our feet like the letter A, and then lifting our feet in that A position to create our backward stride. Here's how you're gonna set it up. You're gonna start with about a basketball size space between your feet. Knees are gonna be slightly inside of our feet, creating almost a bit of an A-frame here. Different from the A shape of our feet, but we're putting a little pressure on the inside edge. Now, what, before I get ready to go, I'm gonna make sure my head's in a comfortable position. I'm gonna look approximately two meters on the floor in front of me here. I'm not gonna worry about looking too high and I don't wanna be looking right down at my feet. Somewhere here is gonna work great. And now to get moving, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer weight to one side, pick one foot up, and I'm gonna turn that toe in. And it's a rotation of the hip that gets that foot in the right position. Okay, balance, A, and lift. Now, soon as I start to get a few butterflies, right into that lemon drop. To work on this technique, by going forward and back in a space that's fairly flat where you have quite a bit of room to work. So in this position now, I'm gonna go forward position, skate, 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 chop, chop. As I chop, positioning those feet into that A, immediately that makes me wanna move back. Skate, 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 lemon, boom. I'm gonna take it back forward. One. Sometimes when we're learning something new, we become so obsessed with the technical aspects of what we're trying to do that too much of our brain power is thinking and not enough of it is doing. So do something like this. Count your steps going forward, count your steps going back, and focus on that number instead of all the technical things. You know, go forward a couple steps, go back a couple steps, right? And count how many you can do and then try and beat it next time. Okay, so now, Let's go back to that lemon drop. We're gonna connect our lemons together now and try and do two or three or four into one nice smooth motion. Now this exercise is absolutely key if you wanna be able to skate nice and smoothly backwards. Now the key to this exercise is a hip rotation. So as my feet return, as my heels come back together underneath my body right here, they have to be able to kick back out into the next lemon. In order for this to happen, this hip rotation, I have to have the weight in my toes, and there has to be a slight decompression, almost an unweighting of my heels, kind of like a tiny little jump. Practice this in your socks on your carpet, kicking your heels in and out, and feel what's happening here. You have to push down with your toes, and you have to lift up to get your heels off the floor in order to kick them out and back in. It feels like you're putting out a cigarette butt or squishing a bug on the floor. Okay, so now I've got the hang of moving backwards. I've done some drills, I'm feeling comfortable. Now what I wanna do is make sure that I'm feeling comfortable looking over my shoulder as I start to skate backwards. It's so important if you wanna be able to do this in the middle of one of your flow skates. To do this, what I'm gonna to say to myself is, lemon, look, lift. I'm gonna use that lemon drop to get myself gliding backwards. 
I'm gonna look behind me by putting my chin towards my shoulder. I'm gonna look, not trying to turn my head in a big way where I'm creating too much rotation. I'm just trying to look over to the side and with the peripheral vision, I can see most of what's behind me here. Let's give it a try. Okay, I balance. Lemon, look, lift. Okay, now one fatal flaw that I see in so many people skating, including my own, is we get comfortable looking one direction for me over my left shoulder and we're not really comfortable looking the other way, which in some cases you end up in a position where you find yourself here and then all of a sudden you gotta try and look this way and as you change that perspective, you're in a blind spot for a second, it causes panic, maybe you trip and fall. So let's make sure we practice it both ways, okay. Lemon, look, lift. Oh, getting pretty good. Let's move along. This is a great place to jump in if you already feel comfortable with some of this basic backwards skating. What we're gonna do now is introduce a C cut. So the explanation is simple. Just like a lemon drop, instead of a V, half a V, carve a C. You wanna get used to this motion here. Balancing leg, going straight, action leg, carving that C. Make sure your feet are coming together at the top and the bottom. Now what we wanna do is very similar to when we did our lemons and we connected them together here. We want to work on that return. So the return being my foot skates out and now it starts to come back in. I don't want it to crash here. I want it to return into a position where I can continue my stride. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and work on this sort of feel here. Like I'm squishing a bug, putting out a cigarette on the ground, this sort of hip rotation here. Freeing up that hip will make this move quite easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna carve that C and then here I start to feel that rotation. So at this point you'll notice I'm not looking where I'm going. In fact, it looks like I'm looking down at my feet. Just focus on getting the feel of it. Feel like you're using one foot to propel yourself backwards, carving that C cut and focusing on a nice smooth return. You'll notice that when I change directions here, I start to use my opposite foot. Now I'm pushing with my left, which is a little bit more difficult for me. And you notice that my right leg is not in a nice straight balancing position. It's carving slightly in and out and that's just fine. Don't focus on perfection. Just get the feel of these activities. Alternating. At first when you're alternating, try and feel like you're going in a fairly straight line and quite quickly, you'll start to feel like you're zigzagging back. And as soon as you start to feel those butterflies, what's behind me? Lemon drop. <laughs> it's always there for us, okay. Let's try that again, but now I'm gonna try and feel a little bit looser, staying on my toes, and see if I can start to get a little bit more of this kind of swaggy waggle happening here. Okay. Don't forget to look what's behind you. Now, as I start to get this sort of feel happening, it starts to even get easier. That return part we talked about, that rotation of the hip, having to bring it here can be kind of tricky. So what's happening now is it's coming here and then this foot is following it there. So instead of this correction happening here where my foot ends up here and I have to do this, What's happening is I'm kind of pushing myself over, pushing myself over. Do not focus on perfection. Get the feel of that hip rotation and that alternating side to side movement. 
and then try some of these exercises. And these exercises will take you to the next level. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and push myself with the outside leg. So this foot being the inside because it's closest to the cone. I'm gonna try and use this foot to give myself a push to head towards that cone. So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna set up as my usual C cut. I'm gonna give a little extra push and try and glide through. I'm gonna look for the next cone and then I'm gonna give it a push this way. And look for the next one and give it a push. And then give it a push and give it a push. So now, this next exercise, continuing on with mastering those C cuts, is gonna be going around in a circle skating backwards. So I don't have a circle chalked out here. It would be helpful, but I do have a cone in the middle. That's gonna be very important because that gives me my focus. That's where I'm gonna be looking the whole time as I do this exercise. Now, I'm gonna start again using that outside foot to generate the power, carving a C, and I'm gonna try and push myself towards the middle, right at that cone there. Pay attention to my right foot here. With each change of direction, that right foot has to pivot. The heel is almost lifting up. So this demonstrates clearly that the weight is in the toes and you wanna feel this when you're moving backwards. Also, you'll notice the up and down motion as I compress hey. and decompress to put power into the stride. Good. Excellent exercise, you gotta work on this one. It is difficult if you're feeling discouraged or it's just not working for you, it can be super helpful just to get moving backwards first. So if you're unable to start here and get this sort of move happening, give yourself a bit of room. I'm still gonna be looking basically towards that cone. Sorry, Alex. I'm still gonna be looking towards that cone, but I'm just gonna get skating backwards at first. Good. And then the idea being with a little bit of momentum into the circle, it's a bit easier for me to get this exercise to start to work and feel like I'm uh, moving along and progressing. Of course now we gotta do the same thing, changing directions. Great, so that essentially wraps up our fundamentals. But what I wanna do next is take a step back and let's conceptualize how we can use this backward skating technique in our flow skates like some of the best skaters out there. And one of the best out there surely has to be Alex Koshnik. Alex is the guy who is normally filming me. So if you haven't really seen much of him skating, that's because he's behind the camera. And one thing that he does better than myself, better than most people on planet Earth is this backward skating position, being able to slow down, control speed, and generate power. So what we want to notice here is the position of his feet. His left foot is leading, his right foot is trailing, and his right foot is the one that's driving the stride. You can see that push that he's generating there. Now, as the camera turns here, we want to have a closer look at the body position that he's holding. So he's looking over his left shoulder. So his upper torso is rotated to his left, and his hips are rotated about the same amount, causing that scissor position of his feet gives him a good, stable, strong position where he can see where he's going, he can generate speed, and he can navigate obstacles. And if you wanna be able to add backward skating in to your flow street skating, this is what we need to be able to do. I look over my left shoulder. So as I rotate my shoulders this way and I look here, my hips are gonna follow the same. That's naturally gonna put my left foot in the leading position. So I don't wanna be trying to do this where my hips are pointed one way and my shoulders are the other way. Hips and shoulders the same direction. I'm gonna look down at that line, give myself a gentle push. Glide back, pick up that leading leg, stomp it down into a power slide position, a big letter T, whatever you like. Okay, from this position, I'm gonna practice a T push. I'm gonna push myself back into the wall. Gonna catch the wall with my hands and a little harder push this time. Good, okay. Now, one little detail here that needs to be mentioned is I'm turning my chin towards my shoulder, but I'm getting that shoulder a little bit out of the way by tucking that arm behind me here. I don't want this arm to get stuck. If I do fall and my arm's here, I'm wide open for a big crash. So it's floating there, 
in a way that I can get into position to save myself should I need it. But pay attention to where that shoulder goes this time. Boom, okay. Feeling comfortable there? So now I'm gonna switch shoulders. So, and what I'm gonna do is line up. All right, we're almost the there. So of course we need to practice right this side, exercise on the right opposite side. On the it's good right for your brain, shoulder. it's good for your body. Nice it never simple. feels good, it feels weird and terrible. It's always more natural on one side than the other, but it's worth your time. Please practice this. I need to do more of it, so does everyone. Now, what we need to do is take this body position and combine it with the C cuts from earlier to put it all together into that nice flowy backward skating that you can Great. take so, to the streets. If you again, jumped in sure uh, and you didn't see the C cut um, portion, if you have any questions after seeing it here in a second, go back in the video so and check it out there so you have a fuller picture of what's going on. Very important. Now for your backwards flow skate, very important that we're comfortable in this position, just like we practice pushing off the wall. In this position, what's gonna happen is, essentially, I'm gonna have a balancing leg that is gonna do some pushing. However, 90% of the power is gonna come from the action leg here. So I'm gonna set up in that uh, backwards gliding position. I'm gonna turn my foot, my power foot, into my backward skating position, turning that toe in. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna C-cut It's gonna C cut, giving me that backwards power, but I'm able to stay stable. I'm able to see where I'm going because I'm balancing here and staying rotated in this position. Now, something that takes some time, and the reason you practice this nice and slow, you know, with a visual cue like this line, is there a switch has to happen to get into a backwards, uh, into a stopping position. So essentially, my action And when I say a switch has along, to happen, what I'm referring to is a switch in the action here, leg. So as I'm skating backwards, in this case, my action leg, leg is my right leg, I'm my but I'm not gonna use my action leg as a power stop. stop. The reason being, my body's already looking this way. I'm never trying to turn my head if I can help it. Certain cases, sure, do it. You know where you're going, awesome. Many times though, as soon as you turn that head and try and look over the other shoulder, things go drastically wrong. That's when you end up getting hurt. So here my right leg is the action leg, and now I'm gonna to switch to my left leg as the action leg for the stop. So one option I have there is that stomp works well as I'm practicing at slower speeds, but what's gonna work better is creating a power slide. And what the power slide entails is a wider cut, essentially a large C Again, cut into a lunging side. position. That's the progression. So now, once I feel comfortable there, you're gonna start doing this in a more wide open space. So I'm gonna work on looking over my right shoulder, which feels not so good. I can do it, just never feels so good, okay. All right, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go this way all of a sudden. No, I got to keep working going this way. Whoosh, boom. And that's the position. This is where the magic happens. Um, you know, I'm bombing down the road here. I can see everything that's in my way. I'm ready for a quick turn. I'm here. I can mohawk around. Um, there's a crack in the way. I'm ready to hop, jump. I have so many possibilities. You know, I'm coming here again, and I'm looking where I'm going, so now I can bust out a nice little gazelle. There you go. That should help.
I really, really, really hope it does. To me, that's the progression that's gonna get you to that backwards flow skate position. And soon enough, you'll be bombing around just like Nico Torelli, just like Alex. I'll work on it myself. Maybe you'll see some more backwards skating in my own skating. Uh, but what else to say? I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the amazing support. Namaste. Alex, you wanna say hi? Woohoo! Float skate with Alex and Sean. <laughs>